much, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Dr. Eric Richards, and I'm the Associate Professor of Composition and Director of the UNL Jazz Orchestra here at the Glencore School of Music. On behalf of my colleagues on the composition faculty, Dr. Kurt Kinect and Dr. Tyler White, we want to welcome you to the second evening of Wedding New Music from the Student Composers at UNL. This is a really exciting program, and we'd like to also extend our welcome and best wishes to those of you who are joining us in the live stream via the net. So glad you can be with us as well. Uh, there is a slight change in the program, so just uh, want to alert you to that. If you'll take a look and uh, see uh, a piece for piano titled Cave, and immediately above that, we are going to insert two other pieces for piano um, by our composer, Mark Nichols. So we're going to have two piano pieces in a row, both performed by Dr. Kurt Connect. Uh, there's a wide range of great material on tonight's concert, so I know there's going to be at least one piece you really like, and hopefully... Uh, even more. So without any further ado, would you please help me welcome our first composer of the evening, Nathan Larson. quartet piece to uh, have done for you. It is uh, a movement that is andante and adagio. It is kind of a mixture of uh, tonality and atonality, but it will not really sound to be atonal. It's just there's a lot of chromatic modulation going on. And um, so yeah, I really hope you enjoy it. Let me introduce our performers. I have Alex Rogers on violin one, Maddie Long on violin two, Molly Rezik on cello, and Ariel Garcia on viola.
out and supporting all these really gifted composers that uh, have the privilege of being on the same concert. Uh, also, I'd like to take a moment to thank all of our performers who came out tonight. I'm really privileged to collaborate with uh, Matt Jaffrey uh, on oboe and Scott Ziegler on bassoon. They both have been so patient and so caring with uh, kind of this rambunctious music you're about to hear. So, um, just a little bit about the piece itself. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, I actually love early music, and so I wanted to do a little exploratory um, work in the realm of uh, writing a duet in uh, kind of neo-baroque style, I guess. Um, and uh, Matt and Jeff have been so great about uh, being really careful and uh, attentive to it, and uh, you'll really enjoy uh, their artistry, and uh, thanks again for coming out tonight. <coughs> Thank you. 
so much guys for playing my music. Great, very grateful to you for that. Um, I would like to say a few words about uh, these uh, two uh, songs. So Berdino and I Want are two songs from a uh, uh, song cycle uh, called Four Russian Lyrics for Mezzo Soprano and Viola. The cycle is based on the poems of four poets from the Golden uh, 
age uh, and silver age of Russian poetry. The golden age roughly is the first half of 19th century and silver age is uh, the beginning, the uh, late um, end of 19th century and uh, beginning of 20th century. So the first poet, Mikhail uh, Lermontov, uh, who wrote Berdino, is a romantic poet uh, representing the golden age uh, of Russian poetry and is considered by many as uh, the most important Russian poet of all times after Alexander Pushkin. In Berdino, Lermontov described an important battle between the Russian and French armies uh, during the Russia's Patriotic War of 1812. Happened near the village of Berdino, uh, the title of the poem, located 80 miles uh, to the west of Moscow, the battle became for Russians as a very important symbol of the Russian people's heroism and sacrifice. Now, the second song, um, uh, Mira Lachvitskaya, on whose poem uh, the song I Want is based, uh, represent the period of Silver Age. Some consider her as uh, the founder of Russian women's poetry. Uh, the late motif of passion, love, free self-expression, sensuality, and musicality distinguishes uh, the poet's art. And um, I would like, um, I like these two poems, that's why I, I, I chose them. And uh, before each uh, song, I will uh, recite the translation uh, in English of, um, of each song. So the first song, uh, Berdino. So here's the translation. Tell, tell old man, it is not by chance that Moscow burned by fire was given up to the French. There were indeed military fights and as people say, great ones. It is not by chance that all Russia remembers about the day of Berdino. Yes, there were real people in our time not like today's tribe. Gallant heroes of old, these are not you. A bad lot was given to them. Not many came back from the battlefield. Had it not been God's will, we would not have given up Moscow. It is not by chance that all Russia remembers about the day of Berdino. And uh, that is uh, my translation of this uh, poem. So here is... Uh,
want to be loved by you, this world is so poisoned by people. I don't know where's the truth, where are the lies. Forever, I want, I want to be, I want to be loved by you.
This is the Corvus Quartet, and they'll be playing my piece. We have uh, Brian, Henry, Anna, and Michael. And this is just kind of a fun, laid-back saxophone quartet. It's a little jazzy. You'll hear some classical influence. But overall, it's just meant to be fun. So I hope you guys enjoy it.
Jason Overmeyer. Uh, I'm a senior music composition major here. Uh, I wrote a piece called In Light of a Former Self. Uh, this marks the decision of a person to change uh, who they once were, hence the former self part. Uh, so throughout the piece you'll hear uh, a couple themes that go throughout the piece um, and they'll be in a variety of different harmonic functions. Uh, this kind of reflects the person either uh, deciding how they want to change or what exactly about them uh, they're trying to figure out. So it's a very reflective piece. Feel free to take it in your own perspective, and I hope you all enjoy it. Good. Oh, one note. Uh, instead, you'll, you'll notice that uh, Maya is playing on violin, but actually it's Grace Lamb, so we're very happy to have her play for us, and that's it.
First, I would like to thank Dr. Richards for obliging my request to move from last night to tonight, so that Dr. Richards can play. And I'll be presenting two short piano pieces. Uh, the first one, if you look on the program from last night, is Big City, which is a sort of a rip-off of the Eric Satie piece that almost everyone knows. And then it turns into something else of my doing. Um, and the second piece is the I tend to think of the piano as sort of a percussive instrument more than a sort of sometimes more than a melodic instrument in the sense that it's not really like a wind instrument. You have to hit stuff to make stuff do stuff. And so for that piece, I tried to think of what's kind of the most boring starting point of a piece, and that would be middle C. So I tried to do weird things with middle C. So here's Dr. Knut. Thank you. <coughs>
Dr. Connect for playing tonight and uh, making composition lessons really fun every week. So, thanks.
much for coming today. This is going to be the last piece of the program. Um, a lot of you are probably wondering about the title. It's called Tim. I didn't actually just like leave the finale preset in there. I just leave it and call it the title. Um, it's, I named it this because uh, the lyrics and the whole piece deals with a lot of temp kind of words. The tempo changes often. It talks about things that are temporal. There's a temperate dynamic quality to it. The lyrics change temperature throughout the stanzas. Um, and I just want to thank all of my, per my performers for bringing this to life. I took a few of them out of their comfort zones uh, with this piece, and they just adapted so gracefully and so beautifully. This piece is really special to me in a lot of ways. It's the first time that I ever made a foray into blending three of my favorite things, which are jazz, romantic harmony, and world music. And uh, I think it's turned out pretty well. I hope you think so too. Enjoy. Thank <laughs> you. 
Let's go.